Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SLDB. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're new to charts and not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Been doing this analysis on a very routine basis. Um, you know, done it several times this week. And so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. But once again, the movement upwards continues. So some updates need to be done. First thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning, just get rid of these lines. Yes, these levels pertain, but they're not really relevant anymore. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere. So let's try to keep this analysis as clean as possible going forward. The first update though that needs to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So going into today, this 337 mark was an area of resistance, but now that the price is up above it, that's what you know one of the newest areas of support is, and that's what I would call the ideal level. And we say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? Definitely if the price can stay above 337, but don't get me wrong, it's not like if the price falls below that level, that implies everything's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to actually stay up above that level, that would definitely be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line now is gonna to begin to come into play, which is the 50 period moving average, keyword being moving. So as time goes by, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very straightforward yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move. That right there is how I am defining the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you must visualize that, that is what has been represented. Again, yeah, staying above 337 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as where the sellers are at, nothing fancy or complicated here in the initial uh, near term right there at 370. And then the next level after that is just simply where the party stopped today and that was right up at 387. So all I can really say is the bounce continues. You know, it started back a few days ago and it's continuing to grind higher. And as long as the price continues to chip away and build those higher lows, that's what you wanna see. Real quick, if you found this video helpful, then I'm very confident in saying you'd find value in this live web class that I'm offering. It's totally free, so if you're interested in learning more or getting signed up, you can go to claytrader.com forward slash live or just see the link in the description area. Like I said, it's live, so there's a question and answer session. It's all very interactive. So go to that link, get signed up, and I'll see you at the class.